action. seen anything yet. Stand by. It's fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating. This uh, Universal Studios Florida is really extraordinary. I thought it was exciting. I thought it was fun. I've been with Universal since 1927. And to see something like this grow out of a little studio like I saw when I first went there, it's, it's just fabulous. The year 1990 was truly a milestone for Universal. The great Hollywood studio celebrated its 75th anniversary, and 21 years after its conception by Jay Stein, chairman of the board of the MCA Recreation Services Group, Universal Studios opened its gates here in Orlando. On June 7th, motion picture history was made. Internationally known stars and the most famous people in the film industry arrive to dedicate the movie and television capital of the East. Conducting the ribbon cutting ceremony were Jay Stein and Steven Spielberg. The greatest talents in film and television production have collaborated with the finest designers and technical specialists from the world over so that fans can share in the excitement and drama of the movies. <laughs> I hope this cuts. This is a lot thicker than what we rehearsed with. <laughs> As we walk along the streets, surrounded by full-scale recreations of scenes from the most famous movies ever made, you know that you're in the most lavish, exciting production ever conceived. The realism of the surroundings intensifies the thrill of each experience when you ride the movies and live the most unforgettable scenes from blockbuster hits. You will see, hear, and feel the fun and adventure going behind the scenes being on camera and in moviedom. And now we'll see you in the movies. As a leading producer and distributor, Universal has made cinematic history for 75 years. But only here will you experience Hollywood as you have never dreamed it before. E.T., King Kong, Earthquake, Jaws, Back to the Future. They began as movies. Well, now they are part of the fun, thrill, and adventure of the motion picture magic at Universal Studios, Florida. I'm John Forsythe. Let's take a closer look. Beginning in 1934, Alfred Hitchcock had a 43-year association with Universal. A master of suspense, he created a mood of underlying tension by placing ordinary people in extraordinary circumstances. 
Surrounded by an increasingly hostile environment amid a brooding atmosphere and experiencing jolting moments of terror, they are confronted with forces bent on destroying them. They may discover that these forces are within themselves, seeds of evil ready to sprout. In the art of making movies, you will learn the camera techniques that have made Alfred Hitchcock an idol, even to the greatest filmmakers of his time. Check into the Bates Motel on the Psycho soundstage for a rest and a shower, and to lift the curtain on the most horrifying moments ever filmed. The graphic reenactment you will see is a close confrontation with the genius of Hitchcock. Seventy-eight camera angles edited in rapid sequence were used to portray the attack in the shower. The camera became the slasher. The knife never pierced the flesh. Hitchcock chose to film Psycho in black and white to reduce the violence in this scene. The dizzying heights of the Statue of Liberty's torch is the setting for a terrifying scene from Saboteur where you will learn that, like Hitchcock's style, nothing is what it seems to be. And on the speeding carousel from Strangers on a Train, you will reenact a murder. Cameos to television reveals the basis for Hitchcock's highly successful television series. And on the set of Rear Window, the unexpected and bizarre is encountered while watching the windows across the courtyard. There is so much going on, someone may get away with murder. And now the art of making movies. Hitch loved to have his camera constantly in motion, moving mysteriously past objects and people. He might start high in the air and then sweep down slowly to something totally unexpected. Hello, this is Jimmy Stewart. In 1954, I made my second film with Alfred Hitchcock, co-starring Grace Kelly in Rear Window. Now, you're playing my role. Now, take a look. There should be something interesting in all those windows. Everyday life is Hitch thought. Of course, you might see something a little bit unusual, like maybe a murderer. He's doing some things that seem pretty suspicious. See if you can spot him. All right, time's up. Did, did you spot the murder? Because if you didn't, he just might have spotted you. Hitch made a cameo appearance one way or the other, in every film he made for 50 years. An extra body was needed. No extra body was in sight. So the director filled the space. It was his first cameo. He put one in virtually every film he made. And then the cameos grew from being a superstition to becoming a delicious private joke between the director and the audience. They wondered how Hitch would do it every time. When he announced he was making Lifeboat, everybody wondered how Hitch could possibly make his cameo appearance there. The reason here about some people that were adrift in a lifeboat for 80 days. His last appearance was in Family Plot, a shadow on a window. And then he's gone. Gone except for the screen. He left us his movies and himself five seconds at a time. Suspense quickens our pulses, but the sound of laughter sustains and nurtures us. The comedy teams of Laurel and Hardy and the Marx Brothers 
cheered us through the Depression years and took our minds off World War II. Vicariously, with W.C. Fields and Mae West, the meekest and the mildest among us thumbed our noses at society. Marilyn Monroe invited us to succumb to a heroine's charms. Charlie Chaplin probed the depths of our compassion. Wow! <laughs> Uh. <laughs> mm. Well, you never know who you're going to meet here. As I was saying, Charlie Chaplin probed the depths of our compassion, and then turning calamity into comedy, convulsed us with laughter at his antics. Outrageous, witty, or joyful, the force of the comedy star's screen personalities added immeasurable richness to the films they have graced. Years after they have departed the scene, great performers continue to brighten our lives with their images. Luckily, some of the stars are still here on the streets of Universal Studios, Florida, to exercise their franchise on humor. Well, step right over here. Hey, do you have any bugs? I'm only dead. She's so light on my feet, too. <laughs> All right, now, you gonna give me a kiss? Maybe not. Maybe not. Hollywood's Walk of Fame. The names of television and motion picture luminaries are immortalized on these stars. There's Kirk Douglas, Linda Evans, John Forsythe. Wow. Now, if a roving talent scout discovers you and Schwab's here, you'll get a screen test and your chance to be a star. It is perhaps the animal actors which elicit the most warm-hearted response of all. We are irresistibly drawn to the animal actor's stage by the magnetism of the screen's most lovable stars. The cast of over 50 performers is the largest assembly of working motion picture and television animal actors in the world. This actor is also known as the kissing canine. Lassie made her first appearance in the 1943 movie, Lassie Come Home. The endearing collie immediately found a permanent home in the hearts of millions. The hit film was the first of eight and inspired a long-running TV series. Jenny has been working on impersonations. 
Her first one is Don King. Let's see those lips. Mick Jagger. messenger of imagination and love to kids around the world. The answer is about to arrive right here at Universal Studios Florida, so kids of all ages can enjoy a day in the park with Barney. But don't tell the kids, because when they discover that Barney's at Universal Studios Florida, well, they uh, see for yourself. Meet Mr. Peekaboo and Bartholomew de Paris. Once inside the star of the show, the dinosaur from our imagination makes his magical appearance. And shows the audience why he's a dinosaur sensation. Heroes and heroines were the idols of our days. Villains and monsters haunted our nights. The terrors that lurk outside the circle of firelight or in the hidden places where darkness is the deepest. These are the elements of our most enduring type of storytelling and entertainment. Universal gained the reputation as Hollywood's home of horror in the 20s and early 30s. Bela Lugosi, Dracula, Boris Karloff, Frankenstein. These names have become a permanent part of our collective nightmares. <laughs> entered my theater, and you are now my guests. You should learn secrets of makeup and effects, which I have chosen to allow. No more, no less. These secrets of the craft are for you and for no others. The terrifyingly realistic horror effects are created with more than bones, limbs, stage blood, and an assortment of gory ingredients. A mechanical understructure, a latex mask, and a talent in makeup magic can bring the most ghoulish monster to life on the silver screen. Get what I said, get her out of here. Isn't that cool? Yeah, this, this one 50 years at the bottom of a lake will do for you. for 
moves so fast. You know, it's got good comedy in it, and it's uh, entertaining. I think the people like it very much. Their timing, they just never stop. And you keep thinking, well, that's the end of it, and then they come in with something even bigger. Someone who's never seen the show, woof, they've missed something if they don't come to this show. At last, a little bit of peace and quiet. Relax! Huh? We love to be frightened. Nowhere else but at the movies could we live our fantasies of heroically facing the unknown and victoriously overcoming the challenges. Adventure movies are rooted in fantasy yet firmly moored to Earth. The drama of the serials, those vanished open-ended cliffhangers, prove to us every week that good could triumph over evil. The Lagoon live action stunt spectacular here at Universal Studios Florida demonstrates daily that heroism is not dead. The good guys still win. And the pyrotechnics are in living color. Speeding boats, death-defying stunts, and thundering explosives make this all-new Dynamite Night Stuntacular an amazing extravaganza. Jet skis careen wildly into the air. Stunt boats tear across Universal's eight-acre lagoon, bolting toward each other, narrowly escaping collision. Stunts typically created for one-time-only execution on movie sets are performed night after night in this dynamic production at Universal Studios, Florida. Universal's Dynamite Night Stuntacular culminates with an open throttle 60-foot jump through a three-story high 2,000-degree wall of flames, a stunt so electrifying, even park guests can feel the heat. The protagonist we face in an adventure may not be human. It may be an element of nature or a huge and terrifying creature whose origins are a product of nature gone awry, a horrifying piece of prehistory clashing with modern normalcy. The Beauty and the Beast story of King Kong terrified audiences in 1933, and again in the 1976 remake. But the nerve-snapping tension created by the sight of the giant ape breaking loose to devastate a city has been far surpassed. Confrontation is a colossal experience in terror. We are aboard the Roosevelt Island Tramway in New York, when suddenly, we see the wake of his carnage. It is destruction on a catastrophic scale. Our tram will not stop. It can only go forward. Smoke fills the air as fires from the devastation create a blazing inferno. And then there he is, the terrifying giant ape. Our tram dangles before the howling fury. We are face to face with him as he threatens to send us careening down the road. No turning back. <laughs> Nothing can match the spectacle of nature in full fury and no other medium of the arts can capture it the way a movie can. 
With the aid of special effects, a volcano buries a city in ashes, fire consumes a high-rise building, or a hurricane submerges an island. Earthquake was awarded an Oscar for special effects, and here you will experience the power of the most shattering natural disaster on Earth as the 8.3 earthquake strikes Orlando. Of course, it could only happen here within a great soundstage. But then, Universal Studios Florida is adventure. What you just saw actually happened. It was all done by the special effects people. Those guys are incredible. They can destroy Hollywood without even leaving the studio. As you can see, getting a miniature city ready for the camera takes a team of experts. First, the art director and set designers plan each shot with original drawings. Then, model makers create everything from trash bins the whole building. Scenic artists construct the background from a giant painting and sculpted styrofoam mountain. The entire model city fills a space the size of a large parking lot. Cameras are everywhere. The secret to making this look real on screen is what's called high-speed photography. Cameras that shoot film ten times faster than it's projected. Watch the parking garage on the right. That's what it looked like in real life. But this is what the high-speed camera lets us see. That was great, wasn't it? We have boarded our subway train in Oakland. It carries us into a tunnel and under the bay to the Embarcadero in San Francisco. Arriving at the Embarcadero. Depart here for Ghirardelli Square, Fisherman's Wharf, Ferry Building, and the Financial District. Embarcadero, next stop. A tremor shakes the train. We freeze in terror. And then it begins. But ladies and gentlemen, please remain in your seats. We seem to be experiencing a slighter tremor. It's nothing to be concerned about. However, to ensure that all passengers are allowed to leave the train safely. Legendary filmmakers have always found a home at Universal, from Irving Thalberg to Steven Spielberg. After serving an apprenticeship working in television, 20-year-old Steven Spielberg joined Universal in 1968. Jaws, the suspenseful action movie about a shark bent on mayhem, was his second feature film. It was the biggest box office success in history, until it was overtaken by a number of his other creations. As we stroll through the streets of Amity, this little New England village seems like any seaside resort in summer. Young men thronging around the shooting gallery, people basking in the sun, crowds taking photographs of a great white shark. A great white shark. But this is a movie set, and this is where Jaws turns an elemental fear of the water into screaming terror. 
But today the sea is calm. It's a good day for a boat ride. Universal became a true pioneering organization under Carl Lemley's presidency during the years of 1912 to 1936. He established the star system. Rudolph Valentino received his first screen billing at Universal. Mary Pickford, Wallace Beery, Sarah Bernhardt, Walt Disney, and a number of other famous names either worked for Carl Lemley or served an apprenticeship with Universal. In 1912, he selected the site of a former chicken ranch three miles from Hollywood for his filmmaking operations. Universal City, the first municipality devoted to the making of motion pictures, was opened in 1915. Then, in another unprecedented move, he invited the public in to see how movies are made. an outdoor area where sets representing distant locations are built. It's so named because it was usually a huge tract of land behind the main offices and sound stages. New York, San Francisco, Hollywood, or a New England village. Universal Studios Florida has more than 40 set streets where on any day, explosive action may take place while the cameras roll.
it's murder, she wrote, and it's post-production time. The most challenging drama of all takes place after the cameras stop rolling. Editing, sound, recording, dubbing, special effects, mixing, they're just some of the elements that finalize each episode of Angela Lansbury's hit series. They're waiting for us on the set. But when we go into the heart of how motion picture history is made, you, the visitor, will be the star. It's great entertainment because Universal Studios Florida is lights, camera, action. I'm so delighted that you've agreed to help out and become our executive producer. I, uh, I just hope that they've told you exactly what you're getting into. Asterix the murderer. Arrest him, deputy. The murderer forgot one thing, deputy. To clean the flour from the mill off his shoes. No, the director forgot one thing. We need a shot of shoes to show the flour from the mill. We'll surprise. We don't have that shot. So, now. I'm going to show you a little bit of high-tech magic right back here. <laughs> Thanks. All right. This is what we call a paint box. It's a computer graphic system that paints on electronically, which means I can alter the image of these shoes. Now I'm going to paint on the flower electronically. <laughs> OK, put the new version back into the show. The murderer forgot one thing, deputy to clean the flour from the mill off his shoes, Mr. Tyler. Yeah! <laughs> now, most people think that the sounds they hear in a film are recorded live. <laughs> That's as cute as Because you see, most sound effects are actually created. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Let's hear what that sounds like. Run the video sequence and you'll see it here on the monitor and you'll hear three distinct beeps printing will appear you'll speak the printing into the microphones in turn your first or second and relax a nine-year-old could do it simple don't worry about a thing okay a softball not exactly okay the black pearl the black pearl good that was good is it all right Do you think you want to be executive producers again? Nickelodeon is the world's leading television network for children. Two sound stages are the site of live action programming. While sharing in the excitement of taking part in programming designed just for them, children have a close-up look at how television is produced. childhood and that childhood has persisted there is in each of us the desire to preserve a fragment of lost innocence to enjoy the discovery and wonder that we knew as children fantasy is childhood's realm it is a legacy to the adult that he or she will become its border is limited only by the imagination of its creator no other type of movie has witnessed a greater advance in production techniques. 
the possibilities of the unknown stimulates the filmmaker's imagination. Special effects is the wizard's wand that dissolves the thin line between imagination and reality. Since their release, the Terminator films have dazzled audiences worldwide. Directed by award-winning action film director James Cameron, these mega-hits have created new standards for special effects in action-adventure movies. The third installment of this non-stop action adventure takes place at Universal Studios, Florida, where a team of experts has created an unprecedented state-of-the-art interactive entertainment experience. These special effects wizards have combined three-dimensional cinematography, the most advanced computer-generated images, one-of-a-kind robotics, and live-action stunt work to catapult the audience into the center of the 3D action. Imagine a world where butterflies run on batteries. Here is 2029, the place, Los Angeles, and Cyberdyne Systems, an international leader in advanced robotic systems for medicine, industry, consumer products, and defense technology, is attempting to completely dominate the information superhighway. The newest venture is Skynet. Our adventure begins inside one of the world's most advanced theaters. And today, it gives us great pleasure to introduce the ultimate application of our robotic technology, the Terminator. Try to warn you. Skynet means the end of everything. Don't you understand? And we are putting a stop to Skynet right now, while we still can. Take cover, John. Fuck it, Dad. Can you imagine what the next hundred years of movie making will be like? Best show at Universal. At the bed. The technique of giving the illusion of motion to drawings by photographing them in successive positions began in 1906. During a 50-year-long association, Bill Hanna and Joe Barbera have won seven Oscars and eight Emmys. Achievement and innovation unparalleled in animation history make the cartoons come alive in the fantastic world of Hanna-Barbera. He's heading for Coney's Skyland! 
big old rubber band, boo boo buddy. Okay, folks, hold on tight. Rat boogers on our tail. Yogi, keep your eyes on the road. After you have come down to Earth again, the excitement continues in the fun-filled interactive area where you'll meet the animated cartoon characters. <laughs> Become a Stone Age rock star. Create your own cartoons in a wonderland of do-it-yourself animation. An experience, a world of fantasy that comes alive for kids of all ages. In 1902, the 16 minute film, A Trip to the Moon, was one of filmdom's earliest sensations, although its moon dwellers were created with cardboard. The perennial wonder of the universe of worlds and civilizations beyond our own was evoked in the enchanting E.T., the extraterrestrial. It's among the seven Universal movies on the list of the 30 most commercially successful movies of all time. But only here has it become a magical, three-dimensional adventure. Our adventure begins near the end of the movie. E.T.'s home, the green planet, is dying. We are the only ones who can take him home so that his magic can restore it. We must escape the scientists and government agents, and on our bikes, carry E.T. across the moon and beyond the stars. During the ride, we will meet for the first time the fantastic cast of characters on the green planet. And now, a personal close encounter with E.T. in his own wondrous world. have taken us from the arena of the supernatural 
to the limitless ocean of outer space. Even earthbound exploration makes a quantum leap in time. In the 1990 release, Back to the Future. Hello, anybody home? Huh? What are you looking at, butthead? Wait a second. The suckers Doc Brown conned into his time travel experiment. Now that you're here, time travel volunteers, I can give you your pre-flight briefing. There's a lot you'll need to know if you're to successfully cross the space-time continuum. We'll have to hurry, though. The Biff's still on the loose. Anything could happen. Biff! I'll stumble bye-bye! My time travel volunteers, you and you and you, you're my only hope. The eight passenger DeLorean is just beyond that door where you're standing. I can pilot my remote control from here, but I'm gonna need you to help me navigate. You've got to catch Biff. The fate of the entire universe rests in your hands. Doc, all pre-launch system checks are complete. That's our key. We will board Doc Brown's wonder car and enter a new dimension for the most awesome ride of our lives. Hold tight as our time-traveling thrills and excitement begin. Seven-story high Omnimax surround screens and Cinemagic special effects put us in the very heart of the action. Space-age flight simulators hurl us headlong on a breathtaking odyssey across the eons into the dawn of time. the century of cinema, the world has yearned for stories to be told by the means of moving images. In 1915, Carl Lemley promised to make the world laugh or cry or sit on the edge of their chairs. So it has been and will continue to be. First, we watch the movies. Now at Universal Studios Florida, the illusion has become reality. As we go into the future with increasing ingenuity of technological effects, no limit can be placed on the possibilities of tomorrow. For this is Universal Studios Florida. This is fantasy and magic. And now, let's go and ride the movies. 